do you think there are skills in terms of jobs and and being able to to live independently that are missing from like the general school curriculums right now because you know you you hear I, I know I always hear these stories and maybe they're urban legends of these you know 19 20 20 20 22 year old kids that go into job interviews wearing jeans and and doing all of those things and maybe it is an urban legend but what you know what are the skills that you think all all students should have as they get out of high school and they're transitioning whether it's to the workforce or to college um yeah I was actually just talking to my husband about this and I I know that a lot of schools have like the home ec program which for me that was an elective and I didn't I like took art instead so I didn't get the chance to take home ec which I wish I did but you know I I wish there was programs in high school that taught you financial literacy and you know basic home skills maybe you know how to do basic repairs um, and same thing with vocational skills the basics of you know interviewing and looking professional and all that kind of what to wear to an interview um, I feel like that's such an important component that you know I've heard colleges have classes on that stuff but I feel like by that time it's too late like that's stuff you need to know before you get your first job um, you know and going beyond that I, I wish there was classes on you know how what a mortgage is or how to pay taxes or that that's a whole world that I'm still trying to figure out and I'm well beyond the, you know I've been doing it for many years well yeah and and I think how applicable that would be you know because for me I grew up in a teeny tiny small town so like everybody just kind of knew that like oh they need someone at the pizza restaurant that's how I got my first job like it was you heard through the grapevine that they needed someone at the pizza restaurant. I walked down there or I, I went there and they knew, they already knew who I was. So as soon as I was like, Hey, I'd like to work here. They were like, okay, we like you. And then my second job at the hardware store was a guy that my dad graduated high school with. He needed somebody. So he called my dad and said, Hey, will Kyle come and work? And I was like, okay. And then my next job was at the city. Same thing. Someone called and was like, Hey, do you want to work this? So by the time I got out and then my college job, a family friend knew the owner of the restaurant I worked at at college. So I had never gotten a job on my own merits. Yeah. You never had to search for one. And that's a, that's a whole nother skill in itself is searching yeah. for yeah. a job. <laughs> so then, so then it's the last semester of my college as I'm student teaching and they want us to do these mock interviews and I'm like what what's a job what's I've never I've never taken a job interview you know and now that I think back on it I'm like no wonder I didn't get any of those first teaching jobs that I had because I'd never the first job interview I ever had were for teaching jobs wow you know so I just I just think about that and and I and I know that's still how it happens in small towns yeah I mean, it's complete opposite for me. I had to do 20 interviews before I got my first, my first job. Like it was pretty depressing. <laughs> you know? Nobody wants to hire a 16 year old that has no experience, you know? Where, where were some of these experience? Where were some of these 20 places? It was literally anything and everything that I, that was anywhere nearby. So, you know, I would, I went to like the local Dairy Queen or uh, Ruby's or Steinmart, Vons, you know, whatever had an opening. I, even if they didn't have an opening, I was like, please just give me a chance when you do have an opening. <laughs> so I, I finally ended up landing my first gig at an ice rink. <laughs> and where did you grow up? In um, Yorba Linda, California. So it's still. Oh, so they, they have ice rinks out there? Oh, yeah. Hockey's huge out here. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. figure skating. Oh. Yeah. What was your first I mean now I'm intrigued. What was your first job at the ice rank? Um, so just working like the snack bar or checking people in for when they, you know, a cashier. Um I also was decent at skating, so I was a skate guard. So I'd be out on the ice skating and helping people get up after they fell or yelling at them if they were going too fast. That's a <laughs> such thing as this. You call it a skate? What is it called? Skate guard. A, wow, I didn't know that position. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I eventually moved on to 
working and doing the event planning for the ice rink. So I booked all the birthday parties and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> that's, that's so funny. That's wow. But you know, I, I think it's interesting because like you say, I'm here I am now, I've been in the workforce for many years. Um, I was fortunate enough to start working at about 14. Um, my mom worked at a mall. She was the manager of a store and uh, I asked her if I could get a job and she said, well, if they'll hire you, I'll, I'll sign the liability. Because at that in Texas, if you're under 16, you have to have a parent liability waiver. So my mom was like, well, I'll be here and you'll be, you know, you'll be right here with me. So yeah, I'll sign if you work a couple of days a week. Um, and I never forget the interview I went on, the guy who interviewed me, um, he asked me, he said, why would you want to work in the mall? And I was honest and I was like, because my mom's here? <laughs> Probably not the best answer. Uh, <laughs> but, um, and he said, well, why else? I said, well, I'm pretty good with numbers, you know, and, you know, I figured that if I'm working a cashier, you know, I know how to count down teals and do things like that. And um, I mean, that was my first job working at a and hot dog place, you know, right. and, and it was like, see, that was that experience of interviewing with someone. I mean, I can, I mean, I've been on several interviews um, since then, but all this time I've been in the workforce, like I say, since 14 to now, I've never known about the position of a skate guard. Like you would need skate guards on the ice rink, like you would need a lifeguard at a pool, but it makes sense. Yeah. But it also shows me how limited as educators we are to preparing students for positions that actually exist, probably because of our own ignorance of what we of not knowing what jobs are out in the workforce besides yeah. the big ones that that you always talk about going to do this. Yeah. So I think that's I mean, you've opened my eyes up now to where I need to do more research so I can know how to better adequately prepare students for things they could encounter. Yeah. 